Hey everybody, my name is Sam Brookman and I'm part of the Async team. And today we're talking with Olive Allen on her newest piece called Holacracy. Olive, thanks so much for being here. Well, thanks for having me. Hi. Hi everyone. Let's just start talking, Olive, about you. Tell us about your background. Tell us sort of where you're coming from and um, how you got to this place as an artist right now. Um, that's always a difficult question for me because I don't even know where to start. I feel like I've been an artist all of my life. I, I cannot really pinpoint a point in my life where I was like, hey, I'm an artist. I feel like it's always felt very natural. Yeah, well, basically I'm Russian. I've been living in the States for more than 10 years. Um, I worked in tech. I, I've been an early adopter of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and so on and so forth. Um, and at the same time, I was an artist all of my life. Um, right now, I guess that's the point of my life when I'm taking it more seriously. And of course, NFT art and crypto art is a very, very big part of my life. And of course, that's probably the point that encouraged me to pursue art as a career. Actually, that's, that's the industry that keeps me going. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. And, and you had mentioned you know, sort of a little bit earlier about the fact that you basically came to the United States from Russia. Um, what brought you here? It's hard to remember really, again, exact moment when I decided. Um, as though I've always known that I want to live in New York. I was always fascinated by the energy of the city. Um, I mean, there is no place like this. I mean, this is the center of the art world, finance, I mean, and I've been a fan of Gossip Girl growing up. It's weird, but I, yeah, no, it's just gotten battered in my head. So, I mean, I just always knew that I'll, I'll live in New York. But yeah, New York is my home now. And I, I don't really think it on a, I don't think about it on a daily basis. It's just my life. It's weird. Holacracy isn't your first piece. You've been, you have a lot of artwork out there on Rarible, on um, Nifty Gateway. One of your most popular ones is the bears. They're, they're actually featured in the Holacracy piece. And in order to understand it, we need to understand sort of what the bears are. So can you, can you go into and sort of talk about what the, uh, what the, what these are and um, the, the symbolism that you're sort of talking about with them? Well, I love the unbearables. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess it's my first serious NFT piece. And people love it because it, they connect so much with the present moment. I mean, I created them during the pandemic when it just first, when it first hit, um, end of March and April. And I think um, unbearables um, are cute animals, essentially, but they're not really. Um, they're metaphorical symbols of everything that's unbearable about the world. The unbearable is a part of myself. Um, I believe art is, for me, art is very um, autobiographical. Um, and unbearable also just parts of myself at different moments in time. And um, in art making, I like that continuity. I am looking at Media Bear. Oh yeah, that's one of my favorites. Tell, um, tell, tell us about Media Bear. Well, I, I guess um, that's my frustration with the media that became so toxic. That's, that's what we eat for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner. That's where we get our information from. Really, and media is so biased. There's Republican and Democratic media, like more liberal and more conservative and like outright fake news, um, which, is, which are really fake. So... I mean, depending on what you eat, it makes who you are. I mean, I, I love the movie Social Dilemma. I, I, I was aware of that fact, even in Second Valley. That's, that's exactly what you do, yes. Um, uh, you use algorithms to show different content to different people. Let's, let's bring this now into holacracy. Um, you, know, you, you have these two juxtaposed bears. You have like one with these very sharp teeth and you know these swirly eyes that are like hypnotized and then you have another one that's you know basically sitting on a counter with you know candy and with halloween with a halloween uh basket um what what it what is this symbol uh, basically yeah they are manifestations of the nightmares and the fears that keep me up all night well and essentially myself as well which is which is funny as it is 
So uh, they represent the duality of everything, of our existence, of ourselves. They, they are the manifestation of duality of our world and everything that's going on. Now, uh, on the painting, there, there are several other pieces here. You know, you have um, a carousel and you have skeletons on the bottom and Donald Trump and the 5G towers and an alien head uh, that's sort of like on the top. Uh, and it seems almost as if it's governing and, and sort of like, it, it is this news media, it is this fake news and, and, and this juxtaposition of different news sources that are going down to the people that listen to it and that respond to it. Um, and something that we talked about yesterday, Olive, is, right. is the fact that like the top almost looks like the top is like from a Kremlin building in Russia. So um, very interesting stuff. Am I, am I anywhere near close to sort of interpreting this correctly? Uh, well, you are in a way, actually, it's, 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 it's fairly accurate. I mean, um, it is the presentation of a four year period of time of Donald Trump's presidency. It was a very weird time, to be honest, on that. And also it's a symbol of immigrants that um, been subjected to a lot of deportation and unnecessary um, and had to go through a lot of unnecessary things and an alienation of the whole nation. Um, I'd say that's a pretty accurate representation of where we're at in 2020. Um, well, right, certainly yeah, certainly it's, things it's just definitely. keep happening uh, that we're, we're totally not, not expecting. The artwork itself is split into, it's, it's one main master that people can purchase, um, but it changes based on day and night. And so during the day you see sort of this um, roller coaster uh, with the clown. And at night, you have this circus and you have sort of like demonstration of, of all these things. Um, I guess that piece, daytime piece, meant to be motivational more than anything. So if somebody has that in, your, in their home and whatever, um, that's what they see before 7 p.m. I think it's a great motivation for every day. It's like, not, hey, that's nothing to see. Hey, maybe a bit of a roller coaster ride, but that's about it. And I feel like that's a message to people. If you want to make a difference, if you want to do something, um, voting, uh, you can take literally, or you can take it as, you know, uh, everything you do counts. I mean, do at least one little thing that will make the world a better place every single day. I mean, something really, really small, something. Like, like choose to do something. It's a reminder, it's a bit of a motivation. Um, Olive, if people want to see your artwork, where can they go? Where can they go? Um, well, basically my website, my Instagram, for the most part, um, sites like Nifty Getaway and Async. Thanks so much for joining us, Olive, today. And uh, we, we are looking forward to seeing your other artworks that are going to get created on Async. This one, Holacracy, is on sale until Friday, which coincidentally, or not coincidentally, ends on Friday the 13th. Make sure to bid, make sure to follow, and stay tuned for more information. Thanks, Olive. Yeah, thanks for having me.